I'm willing to bet the oil one was the girl. And then, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing I, the blind man is like the one in charge, right? I'm guess, and he tells the deaf man what to type, would be my assumption. By like, well, damn, how would that work though? Because the deaf man could speak to the blind man, but the blind man wouldn't be able to speak to the deaf man, and he couldn't write messages because he's blind, right? He wouldn't be able to write out a note. I guess he could attempt to, but I don't know. Looks fine. Oh, the hard disk is clean. Yes, this is just fine. And I'm warning you. If you don't reply, your contract will be terminated. You're almost out of time. My computer got fucked up by a virus and I couldn't send an email. Sorry about that. About the bat. You must be a commonly believer. I heard his name amongst some rumors on the internet. He hasn't mailed me back again yet. Apart from that, I have absolutely no info. So conversely, if you've got any info, I'd like you to share it with me. I'm still investigating, and I'll keep going. Just a quick note, that is all. Way to kick the fucking hornet's nest. I can't tell the client about the time the bat crashed into my chat. It would break my non-disclosure agreement, as I was chatting with Erica, and I can't explain that. I was the girl that Mikmo raped and beat. There must be a reason why she was sacrificed. If I know who she was, I could probably figure that out too. Yeah, and that's when he would find out it's Rura Yukimura, who is connected to the Yukimura family, and that's why they did it. They found out she was a Yukimura, and they're like, well, he's the that's the family that fucked up our village. What's today's word? Smoke crack. The eagle does not catch flies. Even an eagle is starving to death. They won't reduce itself to eating garbage. Now, I halfway expected the email to just be like, hey, shoot up heroin. Don't you know that heroin addicts have fun when they're high? <laughs> It's been a while. I guess it has. By the way, whatever happened with those riddles you were talking about? Oh yeah, those. I finally worked them all out. Then I went on a little trip. I knew it. So you want a trip after all? Thanks to you. In that case, how about a drink? I guess I have no choice. Fix yourself one of whatever you like. Tower. Mansion bombers. Oh, I did not know about that. Yukimura Mansion Bomber. Oh, right, when he jumped into the smokestack. That's what you're talking about, right? Yukimura Mansion Bombers commit suicide. Perpetrators of the bombing of Yukimura Group Chairman Yukimura's Mansion on July 11th were found to have committed suicide. Heard reports there were two suspects, both of whom were unemployed with no known address. Currently, the location, time, and motive for the suicides have yet to be publicized. Police are expected to make an announcement soon. press embargo, this is still top secret, but it looks like Chairman Yukimoto was kidnapped. The kidnappers were two people from Mikimoto 77, Fuyuki and Hiseki. But Hiseki died immediately after the Yukimura mansion bombing, so it looks like the main perpetrator was Fuyuki. Although there was an embargo on Fuyuki and Hiseki's suicides too, it was broken. 
Hiseki was blind, and Huyuki, the one who jumped in the smokestack and killed himself, was a deaf mute. Now don't freak out, but both men had their eyes and mouths sewn shut. So most of what the bat had said matches up. I never thought this whole thing would get this bad. Why did those two return Chairman Yukimura unharmed and then kill themselves? Maybe Hiseki dying messed up their plan. So Huyuki decided to die too? Something's definitely not right here. This whole case is still full of mysteries. This mail has been sent to reach you on a specific date. I am not the bat. My name is Seki. This is probably pretty disappointing for you. When I first received your mistaken email, it was kind of fun. And so as thanks, no, actually as a prank, I chose you to be a spectator for my little parade. You're apparently quite a good spectator. I'm happy about that. Do you like parade fireworks? Bat was he sick? No. I just thought he was the bat, but it turned out that I happened to have been ta talking to Hiseki all along. Why was he able to write emails even though he was blind? Very quick. See, I assumed the blind one would be the one doing it. He's not even the bat in the first place, technically, but I assumed it was the blind man. Off rip. I knew it. Mulholland. It's Mulholland again. Oh, yeah, the tobacco store. Don't got into the regular. There you go. We'll see about right. It's hot again today. Well, it's summer, so. By the way, you have good eyesight? Not especially. I could just make out the 88 on that big sign way over there. That's actually Ba from Bath. Oh, I guess I didn't notice. No problem of noticing. What do you do when you watch TV and stuff? I turn the volume way up so I can see properly. Turning the volume way up? That's basically the same as seeing, right? Wait a second. Sound. Like a bat. Using echolocation. That's crazy, right? That's fucking wild, my dude. Who would have fucking guessed something like that? I don't know. So Turns out that blind internet users aren't rare at all. All sorts of systems for the blind, like voice input, text reading functions, and all kinds of shit. I feel like Hiseki's the kind of guy you just can't hate. He was almost definitely the bomber, but apart from that, when I think about our back and forth via mail, I really had good sense for that sort of prank. I don't know how good of a spectator I was, though. I received my final mail from the bat, or Hiseki, rather. I'll forward it to you. He likely died because of what they planned to do. I think the stuff these guys were doing was all part of the plan from the beginning. The HC unit is probably handling Yukimura's kidnapping. Either way, since this guy is really well known, the embargo should be on for a while. It'll be a while before I get info from the HC unit again. I wonder if Yukimura is really unharmed. Considering Hiseki and Huyuki's feelings, it's pretty hard to think that Yukimura will come back totally unscathed. I don't care about the mystery anymore. Once the media gets a hold of this, all the bullshit is gonna start flying again. Whatever. Anyway, apparently while I was searching for the bat, I ended up finding a different one instead. The blood-sucking type. Pretty fucked up dude. What if they ever made it to the princess after all? Interesting. So if this is after the... Kidnappers kill themselves. That means this should be the day of the explosion The tower explosion. Or maybe that was a few days later Why is my movement bugged out? Oh Dumbass because I'm not pressing the right fucking keys. That's why my fa I my fingers are fucking gone down, I was pressing shift, not A. Yeah. Computer, please. B. 
favor. Looks like something happened to the old survivor from Mikamo. I got a call from the old lady living next to the door to him this morning. She didn't know who to call, so she saw my business card and called me. At this point, it looks like he'll be okay, but he could take a turn for the worst at any moment. I want to talk to him ASAP, but all sorts of stuff about the Yukimura news has been popping up, and I can't get it, and I can't get away. Do you go check on him for me, please? Get hold of me later tonight, and I should be able to drive out there. I guess it's best to talk to the old man before he dies off. It may end up not even being a joke. What's today's word? Turn your hand up. The clouds turn it down. The rain. Human nature easily changes like turning your hand over and is unreliable like the changing of clouds and rain. Wow, what the fuck ever. I'm not I'm done trying to make sense of your stupid shit. Not after you were like, hey, drink. <laughs> I'm done listening to you. Same day. Get the car. Some really fishy shit going down. I guess I should hurry. The old dude's okay. <gasps> you have any relatives close by? I've been living here on my own for years now. But the old lady next door takes good care of me. So I do okay. Really? By the way, you're... Uh, oh, it's you. Do you really remember me? Yeah. Ricky, good to see you, boy. It's Morishima. I'm Ricky's friend. I see. Yeah, I know the name of one more, too. Kiseki. No, wait. Kiseki. Oh, yeah. And the girl. Riru. Riru. That's a name. Yeah, a relative of the Yukimura family. The Yukimura family. I see. So this Furiru girl was sacrificed by the crazy mob because of her ties to the Yukimura family. You didn't know that? No. Sorry, it's the first I've heard of it. The fourth poem. Eaten by their parents. So that's what that meant. Yep. And one more. Huh? The deaf one. I remembered. Huh? What are you talking about? Deaf one. That was Riru, wasn't it? Nope. Ah, I remember. I knew that something had mentioned three boys. I think it was one of the articles. He only heard about two of them. But He's sucky. Have you forgotten? What? Your, your boss, right? Who is? Come on, buddy. Old man. It's still too early to die just yet. I can't believe you've forgotten. I guess you must... You must have gone soft in the head, too. What the fuck are you talking about? My boss? Was there one more person? Oh. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? This guy, man. Oh. Oh. Sumio? It was so, so sum No. Because Sumio's not deaf. But he just said, oh, well, I mean, Sumio could have hearing aids, for all I know. But he ended it with O. And I've been trying to find out what Sumio's connection is to the Mikmo incident. I'm just saying, that kind of lines up. I'm feeling like it's Sumio.
and that's why he was like trying to yo know, kill the past, right? Yeah, it was fucking Sumio. Oh boy, today's word. Rain stopping at night means rain. Rain that stops falling during the night will rarely last long. What the fuck? <laughs> ah. Carnivorous plants, yay! Depends Raflesina. Blah, big, big plant. Oh boy, big plant. Red thoughts? It's already August. It should be out of. Shit. I well, forgot about whittling that wood. I should probably play with you too. What should we do? Huh? Sorry, Red. Yeah, I'll give you some shrimp later. Hello? It's me. Erica. Something happened? Looks like the embargo will be lifted any time now. Embargo, huh? If this were an embargo on Israel, I bet it would have been lifted years ago. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, yo. Yo, why, why Israel entering the discussion all of a sudden, eh? Come on, I'm not trying to touch on hot topics in my videos right now. Easy, buddy. Are you trying to be funny? I don't think, uh, no. Why do you always have to screw around like that? I'm not screwing around. It's just how I was written, that's all. <laughs> it's just how I was written. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Whatever. Listen. The weather hasn't been this nice in a long time, right? The weather's been pretty ugly recently, you know? Why don't we go fishing? Are you asking me out? It was worth a try, I guess. I'm hanging up now. Okay, bye. <laughs> it was worth a try. Anyway, Red. Got fished out by Eric again. We're laughing. Oh, is there something new on the computer? Ah. Oh, and then... Yep, the snow tower bombing. At approximately 11 p.m. on July 31st, snow tower, which houses the Yukimoto Group's HQ, was blown up. The entire building was destroyed and 11 people were killed. Miraculously, there are fewer casualties than would normally be expected. The bombing is assumed to be related to the earlier Yukimoto Mansion bombing. At this point, nobody has come forward to take credit for the bombing. Additionally, the victims killed in this explosion were Yukimura Group Chairman Yukimura and Terran members of the board. Since it was a holiday, regular employees and security staff were away and therefore not injured. Guess I'll get going then. Seppuku Street? Harakiri BC? The Harakiri Batting Center on Seppuku Street. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ain't that something. Aye. If you're looking for Tetsu, he's not here. Actually, today I'm here to see you. Me? That's Sumio, right? Why don't you tell me a fairy tale? Go ask your mommy. My mommy isn't here and that blind kid is dead, so... It's a long story. But if you don't mind. A long story? Sounds nice. Don't blame me if you fall asleep partway through. Okay, okay. And I guess shortly after this we'll hear about whatever happened at Mikmo. There it is. Mikmo 77 bomb. Day at noon. 
just 34 hours after the snow tire bombing, the Miquel 77 area, once developed as an industrial area by the Yukimoto Group, was suddenly bombed, causing an explosion covering a 4 kilometer radius. Considering the previous bombings, it is thought that someone attempting to destroy the Yukimoto Group is likely responsible. However, the perpetrator is as of yet unknown, and no one has yet claimed responsibility. Additionally, there are currently no residents in Miquel 77, and it is assumed that no one was killed or injured. I, I, I don't want to, but also I don't want to leave any unread emails, so... What's today's word? Friendship is a plant that needs watering often. See, that is an actual, like, piece of advice to have a friendship. Continue and definitely need to meet often and provide love often. I don't know so much about meet and provide love often, but, like, yo, know, you can't just expect friendship to keep going. You gotta put some work. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah, I give it, put in some work to allow it to thrive. You've gotten big again. How about it? We should go fishing together. Oh, well, maybe just sunbathing, I guess. Okay. I guess I'll just write it all up at once. Sumio answered almost all the questions I had. All off the record, of course. I just showed him the four emails I received from Hiseki. Sumio checked them all. I call, I call Sumio Fuyuki and Hiseki the Mikmo boys. The Mikmo boys were childhood friends. Sumio had been their leader for the entire 20 years. 20 years ago, there was a beautiful girl named Riru Yukimura, who was like the three boys' idol. Riru was raised in a branch family of the Yukimura group, and is a distant relative. Okay, distant. Not even, like, directly connected to the chairman. Interesting. But it's just that last name sets them off, huh? They did to his family, it was given some of the Mikmo 77 land. Sometime later, the pollution problem at Mikmo 77 came to light. Mikmo was surrounded by photochemical smog, and the river was full of water polluted by that narcotic. Soon, anti industrial protests at the factory would begin as well, with demonstrations filling the streets every Sunday. Residents sarcastically referred to this as the parade. The parade would get more and more lively each weekend, and then one day, the residents formed a violent mob and attacked the Yukimoto house. The residents, all fucked up from the narcotic in the water, were terrified of the extremely beautiful and early maturing Riru, and believed she was a witch. Riru became a symbol of the Yukimoto family, who had caused them so much pain and suffering. That day, Riru's parents, terrified of the encroaching mob, left the daughter at home on her own and ran away. Oh, fuck, it was that bad, huh? Like, yeah, the... I, you know, I had interpreted the, the whole, you know, mother killed and the mother and father killed the child as, like, the Yukimura family in general abandoning the child. I didn't realize it was literally the parents abandoned her, left her in a house alone. Ah, fuck. Mikmo boys barely managed to save Rido from the mob and brought her to the mountains to escape. While Sumio was looking away, Rido was taken away by the mob. Rido was sacrificed and died. Because they tried to help her escape, and examples made of the three boys. But hearing Riru's words and being enchanted, Sumio had his ears stabbed out. But seeing Riru, Riru's cute disguise and being fooled, Hiseki had his eyes sewn shut. And for swearing allegiance to the demon in Riru, Fuyuki had his mouth sewn shut. And then, the Mikmo boys spent the next 20 years silently plotting their revenge on everyone. Sumio joined the HC unit. He became really good at lip reading and learned to control his intonation when speaking. He faked all of his physical tests at the Central Police Academy and bribed an examiner to pass him for the hearing tests. He used special radios and cell phones created by Iseki to avoid being found out. Iseki developed software that would convert incoming transmissions into Braille. The software was installed into all communication devices used by Sumio. The Mikmo boys' goal was simple, the complete and utter destruction of the Yukimura concern. They put their plans into motion. The Yukimura mansion bombing while Sumio gathered security for his stakeout, Fuyuki kidnapped Chairman Yukimura and confirmed that there was nobody left at the house, and then Hiseki blew it up. After that, Hiseki committed suicide as planned to ensure that they couldn't be traced. He had already set up a bomb at the Snow Tower before killing himself. At the same time, Fuyuki had Chairman Yukimura on lockdown. Fuyuki spent, sent two videos to Investigation HQ to show them that Yukimura was still alive. Sumio met with the locked up chairman several times and made a promise with him to get him to destroy the Yukimura group himself. Forced to make a painful choice, Yukimura finally agreed. Fuyuki demands the ransom. Once it's received, he throws himself into the smokestack. 
another suicide, as just as planned. And Chairman Yukimura blows up Snow Tower by his own hand. The Yukimura group has now been scared to the wind. But the story doesn't end there. The Mikmo Boy's final target was Mikmo 77. They still had the purification of the cursed land on which Mikmo 77 stood, and the release of Viru's restless soul to take care of. That's what that final visual was. Okay. That's why she disappeared in nothing. She was strapped down in that chair, meaning like her soul was trapped in that area. Now with the explosion of the village, she was set free. She, yo, dis not disappeared, just disintegrated essentially. Her soul was gone. Sumio didn't mention it, but there was no way that the Mikmo boys would let that dilapidated town remain. Anyone who's seen the grotesque remnants of Mikmo 77 would agree. Does Sumio plan to die? Or does he plan to atone for sins by continuing to live on? Where do Fuyuki and Hiseki's hopes lie? Of course, I have no idea. Princess Aurora slept the sleep of death at the top of the tower. Princess Aurora was reborn as beautiful as ever. But over the past 20 years, Riru would have been mummified and her remains would have been turned to dust by now. This prey must have begun from the feeling that the princess couldn't be returned to such a filthy place. So it wasn't just the two boys. That's where I first fucked up. I worked out the final riddle we had overlooked. By the way, August 2nd, 1979 was the day Riru died. As for 77564, when I showed it to Sumio, he laughed and answered. Apparently it was the secret code he told Yukimura to use to blow up Snow Tower. Only the memories of the princess and the three boys. The clouds are dirty black and the village died out. Then a nightmare-eating chimera disappears along with the wind. The wording was purposely confusing. It was just a simple joke, basically. This was the bomb warning that Hiseki gave me. <clears throat> Excuse me. A princess and three boys. Only their memories. Mikmo was dirty black, and once the Yukimura group had been wiped out, the nightmare eating explosion disappeared with it. is coming soon dear god no or hopefully it's just i as in like you know something japanese because like we had hana and ski which are like you know i don't know it could just mean i as in i don't know whatever i means in japanese if anything i don't know i'm no expert i know some things but i'm far from an expert yes i will save File six, doesn't thank you. Yeah, because there's Yume Hana Ski. Bum, 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 bum. I do like the reports, though. The reports help me a lot because I don't... A lot of these things, I, I don't quite put the pieces together myself. Right? That's what's been happening to me. Like, even with uh, Case 1, even with Decoy Man, or technically that'd be Case 2. No, that was Spectrum. Right. But even with Case 2, Case 1 I had pieced together fairly well. But even with case two, like I didn't like ha fully have the connection of like what happened between the child and the man that HC was investigating. Man, yeah, now it's time for case four, Kamui Drome. Let's see what we got. Helter Skelter, so goddamn smug. Okay, these are like chat room names, gotcha. Totally immoral, right? Bobo nuts! <laughs> Happens all the time, though. People who can't just face other people always act like that. Nothing's gonna change with garbage like that just spouting bullshit. Splugemeister! <laughs> Fuck. 
These are my kind of boys. Bobo Nuts and Splooge Meister. <laughs> Before you go talking shit about people, you need to fix your own shit up. Monster Dung 420. God, I didn't think it could get better, but holy fuck, here we are. <laughs> so basically, taking over at view is the smart thing to do. Arguing in some internet dump site isn't going to change anything, is it? Look at the dumbasses barking late at night, and you'll see. Learn from your mistakes. Bunch of fucking retards for real. Hugo. Just Hugo. Is he running away? I mean, why can't you just talk it out? I want to believe that since this is the internet, people can come together. There's an even deeper connection than in real life. I've experienced it myself. People I've met at offline parties were all really cool. It's because of people like you that people don't trust the internet. Believe in the network. Unpublicized messages are here. Power to connect people is here. Old man. <laughs> Believe in the net. God is in the cables. Data transcends time and multiplies. Using billions of clones gives you undeniable proof. And then people transcend the light. Believe in the net. Believe in the net. Hey, yo, I think we got a bot in the chat. <laughs> Mods. <laughs> uh, movie girl. Big dick. Wow, I'm surprised Morishima's mailing us of all people. Too big dick. Do you like to dance? What have you been doing? What is some embarrassing line? Worked out the mystery of Mikmo. I like the guy named Sumio. Don't misunderstand. I don't mean it like that. I just mean he wasn't frigid, like you. Anyway, next time I see Kasabi, I'll cheer him up a bit. Anyway, to the point. Following an awesome case concerning the internet, all these charming ladies who could be called national assets have been disappearing left and right, apparently somehow related to the world of the underground. Some sort of club. It's called Ronnie Rockets. Division... This is where their headquarters are, on the surface. It's just a wholesome club. Wholesome? These clubs even exist? Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, I thought it may help. I'll probably see you again soon. Until then, keep living honestly. <laughs> I was like... I like that guy Sumio. No, not like that. You know what I meant. Yeah, whatever. It's okay, Morishima. Komonori Furuya's basement. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I hate to sound like a broken record, but fuck, the soundtrack's good. Fuck. Such a vibe. God, I love this shit. Tomo. Tomo's going to work, so go ahead and eat something, okay? I'll leave 20,000 yen on the table. Damn. Just casually, that's like slapping down $200. Damn, I could never imagine that. Like, like, hey, we left you some money to, like, order some food. Here's 200 bucks. Like, fuck, how long are you leaving, ma? Because, <laughs> goddamn, especially in 99, like, that could fucking get me going for, like, a solid week. Maybe not so much nowadays, but... Mama's gonna be late again today. But don't get lonely. Be good, okay? Don't cause trouble for anyone. All right, Mama's going now. I 
I don't get it at all. A middle-aged woman who can't get back to reality. This is what people struggling with the gap of modern times looks like. A parent's duty to their child's hope. They, a parent's duty to their child's hope. They lose their roots and their parent-child relationship goes to shit. That means the family itself breaks down. It's a real interesting truth. Do you all feel reality? There's lots of that kind of thing. The non-talk show knows some of it. it. Might actually be the best way for these times now. Grimes? <laughs> I agree. That style is all over without a sense of despair. I'm so jealous. But I can't rest easy. It doesn't feel like a consolation. It's making samples of parents a sad thing. A good thing? No, nope, not for the person in question. It's actually really a, it's actually a really calm countermeasure. Real feel sympath feel sympathetic. Old man's views really get me in the heart. It's not the sort of problem you can brush off as a modern day sickness. With the branching of psychological routes and the filling of medical records, the truth will be found. Counseling is a deception. Inside each and every single person's mind is the seat of truth, and each person has their own sickness. Each one needs its own medicine. Deception kills people. That's an exaggeration. Everyone is searching for their own place. I'm gonna take off. I'll be coming here again. Let's meet again someday. Somewhere, everyone. Old man, that's a shame. This BBS is going to get real quiet. I think we needed you here. Losing friends, no matter what the form, is always sad. Old man, please come back here someday. Jefferson Airport! <laughs> you were light. It's gonna be lonely. Fucking assholes. Age of exploration. Soothe. Round and round. Round it goes. Where it stops? Hell knows. Great harvest. Lots of salmon. Yeah. So he's a hacker. The Matrix looks so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep saying yeah. Welcome to drugstore. New drugs, drug tests, link drug. Probably won't get popular though. Trying too fucking hard to look cool. What, he just goes to random websites and like... <laughs> he just goes to random websites and just critiques them? Welcome to Kamui Net. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing where like... The cultists set up like their weird ass websites to be like, Hey, you want to be part of us, right? Kamui. Welcome to Kamui Net. Kamui Uehara, Takako Uehara, Sakura Uehara, Ken Uehara, Uehara Kamui, estimated criminal record, age 16, 12, ni December 1975, age 16, assassinated Makoto Ishihara, Mitama City Mayor, around the same time, Shinyagami, Shinyanagi, president of Sumikawa Corp, the recycling business assumed to have bribed Nakahara, was also assassinated. Simicata Corp had, had a recycling business grown really fast, but a soil survey of the surrounding site showed that they had been engaging in the illegal dumping of PCDD. December 1976. A or maybe it's not even December, but I'm going to read it as such. Age 17. Assassinated Yuki Ohata, Vice Minister of the Kanto Ministry of Justice. According to the Weekly Narc. <laughs> the Weekly Narc? What a fucking publication. Hata reassigned Chairman Kimura of the Non-Performing Loan Processing Organization. The investigation by Entertainment Reality Inc. with close ties to Vice Minister Hata's family became complicated. December of 1977. Okay, maybe it's not December. It's just saying each year. But maybe it is December. Maybe it's December is his year to kill. I don't know. Age 18. Residence Kanagawa District. Assassinated five male junior high school students. Jesus. Those five students had kidnapped and violated a 17-year-old female family restaurant employee. Oh, deserved. Later dumping her into the Kawasaki Bay. This case became very topical with the reporting of the victim's real names due to the relationship between the Juvenile Act and the HC unit. 1978. Age 19. Assassinated Church of Scientolo Scientology. Haha, <laughs> nice. Representative Toshihiki Sato. With 45,000 members, the Church of Scientology between 1987 of March... Between 1987 to March of 1988, forced its members to use contraception and refrain from giving birth as part of the cult's doctrine. Well, that seems pretty cool. Uehara Kamui, profile, angel of absolute zero. 
Hometown, unknown. Gender, male. Blood type, unknown. Date of birth, unknown. Hobbies, unknown. Languages, apart from Japanese, Russian, Cantonese, English. It is actually unknown whether a contractor actually exists or not, but crimes attributed to Kamui always occur in the middle of winter. Okay, so that was December. That was saying December of this year. Because they're saying it's always winter. The victims of major witnesses in cases of human-caused disasters and cases which cannot be properly judged under the present legal and constitutional structure. Due to this, he gained the nickname Angel of Absolute Zero. Ohara Kamui, famous quotes. Kill the past. Oh. Now accepting new posts. Anyway, back to my apartment. Man, why does my apartment have to have, like, the fucking most unsettling background music? Junk Kipple to the main character, subject, bookend. So, right, that was the email that he was getting, that Sumio, not Sumio, Morishima was getting from Hiseki that he thought was from the bat. Wait, so is this kid then the bat? Who's just, cause that's what Morishima thought, that the bat was some young kid who was just stirring up shit, right? He believed he was like some 14, 15 year old kid who was just trying to fucking be a little prick. It's been a while. Looks like you're still alive. That's good. I had warned you. I said to stay away from Morishima. You met with him, didn't you? And that's no good. Although it may have been by chance, you shouldn't be meeting with him. You know why? I know this is sort of weird, being right in the middle of the story, but you and Morishima are actually the same person. You share the same DNA. Same body. Just kidding, this isn't a cartoon. But anyway, Morishima's dangerous. I'm thinking of killing him. Just look at him. Something about him just pisses me off. I'll let you know once I probably shot him to death with a dog. Okay. Maybe don't do that, because he helps me understand my cases, but like, I mean, okay. Do what you gotta do, King. <laughs> 